All right, cool, guys. So just a couple of additional things to note here is um, so we kind of roughly went through the campaign objectives um, and you saw that there was multiple ones there. So for the majority of them, they're pretty self-explanatory. Um, and, you know, there's a couple of specific rules and uh, specifics inside of that. For instance, when you're doing lead generation campaigns, you have to have a form that's associated with them. But for the sake of what we're learning, um, the best objective is always going to be conversion. So uh, we want to make sales through Facebook and Instagram and sales equal conversions. And then you saw me talking through and showing you some of our naming conventions. Um, and this is a really overlooked part of any ad strategy, but it's going to make your life 1000 times easier as you get further in and you have more things running. Um, when we see some new accounts, a lot of times what we see is people have just kind of been in, uh, they're not really naming things or they're naming things in a way that works for them in the moment, but doesn't necessarily lead them to understanding what what's happening inside of that campaign or that ad set or that ad without having to open everything and look at the targeting and so naming conventions are are really important um we kind of talked through ours and we'll put our full naming convention listing out um, and how we think through it in your supplementary materials guide um for campaign level ad set level and ad level obviously as you you know noted we had a slightly different kind of approach inside of our top of the funnel versus our bottom of the funnel. And that was kind of just based on the fact that bottom of the funnel, you're generally only going to have one ad set and one ad because we're using our dynamic retargeting. It's going to be a lot different in the middle of the funnel where you might have three or four and the top of the funnel where you might have five or six. And so those those naming conventions, particularly from the campaign and the ad set level, become a lot more important so that when you're getting in to look at your account, you can kind of blaze through things pretty quickly. And then the last thing to note is our budget management level. So obviously we talked through um, where we were doing that and you may have noticed as we were creating our campaigns and our ad sets that we are offered two different ways to manage our budgets and actually it's kind of a multitude of ways so you can manage budgets um lifetime or daily and then we can switch those out to be managed at a ad set level um and there's kind of pros and cons of both options but we recommend managing your budget at the campaign level to start and you know, you've heard multiple mentions at this point about the Facebook algorithm. And if you know anything about AI and machine learning, you probably know a thing or two about that Facebook algorithm and how it works. And if you don't, it's probably best not to think too hard about it. But the basic idea of it is that Facebook has all this information about shopping and buying patterns and customer interactions. When you manage the budget from a campaign level, it allows Facebook to leverage this machine learning information to spend your budget in the area that's going to be most effective for you based on the goals and objectives you've set. So it kind of takes your need to say, well, I think this ad set is going to, is going to be strongest and allows the natural order of things to kind of figure that out. So if you have a ton of incredible insights on your customer already, then maybe you're ready to start managing your Facebook ads at the ad set level. But our recommendation is always going to be stick with campaign level. Um, it's just going to make your life, particularly at the beginning, a whole hell of a lot easier.